Today we're talking about high potassium, potassium levels, chronic kidney disease. We're talking about some foods, how to soak them to reduce potassium, as well as an over-the-counter supplement that you can take to help control your potassium levels. Journal of Renal Nutrition, April 2024. Associations between dietary potassium intake from different food sources and hyperkalemia in patients with chronic kidney disease. Before I get into this, it's really interesting with potassium because things have really changed in the last five to 10 years about what we know. Now, unless you're at risk, meaning you have high, close to being out of range uh, levels of potassium on your blood work, or you have out of range levels, there really is no reason to restrict potassium because most likely the high potassium isn't related to foods. It can be a variety of other things, more like medications that are causing your body to hold on to potassium, as well as chronic constipation, which we often see in kidney issues. So what they looked at this study was that potassium intake wasn't associated with the blood levels of potassium, but they did find some food groups that were associated with people at hyperkalemia. So if you are at risk or have high potassium levels, potatoes, beans, peas, lentils, chickpeas, dry peas, and green and yellow vegetables were most associated with high potassium. Now, before you restrict those, you wanna look for the root cause, but you can soak those in boiling water for five to 10 minutes, and it'll reduce 25 to 30% of the potassium level. And then you can take it out the boiling water if you wanna do a quick saute or just eat it as is with some seasoning spices, or you wanna do another type of cooking method if it's not fully cooked to your liking, that's fine. Second thing you can do is you can take some sodium bicarbonate baking soda. It's safe, it's really wonderful for kidneys. We have tons of videos on it. You can take one pill twice a day, two pills a day, if you get a pill form, or you can take about one fifth to one fourth of a tablespoon of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate a day, because that helps pull potassium out of cells. So those two things will really help control it as well as finding the root cause, as I mentioned. So speak to your team, your doctors, to help you get find to that root cause.